Hey everyone, Juan here, and today in this video, I wanted to go over Facebook ads versus Google ads when it comes to your e-commerce business. Now, uh, I know that in the e-commerce space, people mainly focus on talking about how to use Facebook ads to really grow your e-commerce business. And um, you know, up up until date, up until like maybe like roughly like last year, maybe like year and a half. I never really um, explored other advertising channels, but as some of you guys have been following me for some time, you've probably noticed that in some of my other videos, I've started to talk about how I utilize other 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 uh, traffic channels like Google Ads or email marketing, and I've even tried like Bing Ads, and uh, I also wanted to try Pinterest as Pinterest ads, but I haven't had a chance to, but I will, and when I do, I'll obviously share that with you guys. Uh, but for this video specifically, I wanted to talk about the differences between Facebook ads and Google ads. So um, we'll get right into it. I wanted to start off by just showing you guys actively inside of my uh, account. So uh, this is my business manager. You can see that from May 27th to June 27th, spent roughly $1,300 uh, and brought in an additional 50 grand on, you know, just within the last 30 days or roughly 30 days. Um, now this is inside of my Google ads account. Uh, you can see again from May 27th to June 27th, which is today when I'm recording this video, um, spent a total of $1,600 and brought in a total conversion value of $17,000. So um, there's a there's a there's a really a reason why the main reason I wanted to take a second to break down the two is really because I believe that I have my own personal opinions between you know Facebook ads and Google ads, and I wanted to share those with you guys and kind of explain how. Uh, you guys should see both advertising platforms and you know if you actually should be using them within your business. I wanted to cover those things in this video, so uh, we'll just get right into it. So Google Ads and Facebook Ads dominate the online advertising space. There's no question about that. They're you know the two biggest platforms when it comes to advertising. Um, both of these flat platforms deliver incredible results, but which one is actually better? That, that's probably a question a lot of you guys may have. Um, a lot of people say to choose one or the other. I say, why not capitalize on both? So you'll see almost everybody that's a lot of these other like e-commerce or uh, e-commerce gurus, they only talk about how you should mainly use Facebook ads or they only focus on Facebook ads and they never talk about any other advertising channel, which again, to each his own, that's that's fair. Uh, we actually used, you know, and I'm guilty of it, me and my business partner used uh, Facebook ads pretty much entirely to grow <clears throat> our e-commerce business from the ground up. So I can understand why, you know, everybody would really talk about Facebook ads. But uh, I do think that now being a lot more experienced and in the e-commerce space for uh, a few years now, I've started to see that to really like grow your business exponentially and great and get great results from like all of your advertising dollars, you always want to explore and really get traffic from every anywhere that there is traffic av available for you in your business. So um, if you want to reach customers, then Google's search network or Facebook, Instagram's news feeds are the places to be. There's people using Google search every single day, and there are also people scrolling on Facebook and Instagram. So there's a lot of attention on there. Uh, Facebook currently has 2 billion monthly active users, making it a gold mine for user activity. Uh, Google ads reaches billions of people each and every day because, again, uh, there's, I think, something crazy like 3.5 billion searches a day on Google. So, uh, you know, with that being said, it obviously leaves a lot of opportunity for you to actually go and capitalize on. So, um, there's two ways I want to kind of break it down. So I think that Facebook ads is a phenomenal way to build brand awareness around your products since you are paying to show up in front of people that don't know about your product. So when it comes to Facebook, it's a little bit different than Google. And the reason why I wanted to take a second to kind of break them down individually is because it makes a lot more sense. Well, it will to you guys as far as why you should utilize these platforms or if you should if you understand like how they work and how they can affect your business. So uh, with Facebook ads, it's super simple. You're, you know, you're paying to really show up in front of people, right? It's called like, uh, I think it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like there's a term for it called like disruptive um, advertising or disruptive marketing where again, you're just showing up on people's timelines, right? On, it's like, when I used to, I used to do door to door sales and I would show up uninvited onto somebody's doorstep, right? And so it's very similar to online where, you know, you're paying to just, get in front of someone in between of what they're doing. So that's cool because you can always um, reach people and always pay to get in front of people at all times. So that's why Facebook does a really good job. Uh, also, when it comes to Facebook, um, there's there's what's called, uh, and I've mentioned it before, I have another video on this, called, called like the marketing funnel. 
Uh, Facebook is really a great platform to really focus on creating brand awareness and reaching out to brand new people. And the reason why is because, again, like you can get in front of people's eyes as they're on these platforms. And people are spending a lot of time nowadays between Facebook and Instagram. And so that's why it's good to capitalize on, you know, on both on this platform specifically. Now, when it comes to Google ads, it works really well for converting warm traffic since you're paying to have your ads showing up for people that are actively searching for the products you have to offer. So typically with Google ads, we mainly focus on running like uh, now we kind of split test a lot, like we're running different kinds of Google ads, but for e-commerce specifically, up to date, the best performing kinds of ads on Google have been brand search ads, which is like search ads for like your website or your brand name, or Google shopping ads, which are performing really well. Uh, they actually just made a quick update today, which I think is gonna be super cool because uh, this is going to be a game changer. They just made an update. I got an email yesterday from Google saying um, that they're not going to go to allow Google shopping ads to show up under the image section in Google. So, for example, if somebody goes and Google's a specific product and um, they, for some reason, you know, don't really respond to the, the shopping ads that show up. Now the Google shopping ads are going to show up on the images. They're going to be the first section of when you click on the images tab. And so I think that's going to be pretty cool. I think there's going to be uh, definitely a change into how Google Shopping ads perform. I think they're gonna perform even better with that. Um, not that they haven't already been crushing it, but yeah, those are the kind of ads we, we focus on. And so, um, again, the reason why these ads work really well is because what you're doing is, you know, you're sh as long as you show up at the right time when people are actively searching for you or, or your or products you have to offer, then you can typically get them to convert. And so, um, it's important to capitalize on that though, because if you think about it, if you have, if you're building all this brand awareness with Facebook and Instagram, for example, but then when people go and search for you, you're not really showing up. Other people show up. That means that other people will also will get to benefit from the traffic that you're basically paying for on Facebook and Instagram. Now, that isn't always the case. You can always get conversions from Facebook and Instagram, but there's always going to be people that excuse me, need a little bit more information, need to learn a little bit more, have to do a little bit of research before they feel uh, confident and comfortable like making that purchase. And typically when it comes to do information or do any, inf any, any research on a product, the first place they go to is Google. So um, you wanna make sure you capitalize on that. That's what I have seen personally based on like some statistics and analytics. Now, uh, I wanted to break down a couple, of, a couple of different things. So when it comes to scalability, I do think that there, you know, when it comes to Facebook ads and Google ads, there, there are some differences. Uh, with Facebook ads, I think it's very scalable because you can always get your products in front of new people. You can always just keep paying to, you know, basically shove your products and your ads on people's timelines, right? There's no, Facebook's not going to say, no, don't. Uh, don't we're not gonna put your ads in front of people like they're always gonna say yes advertise on my on my platform or on our platform or on our platform because we have a lot of eyeballs so uh, we're gonna charge you guys this amount but you guys can run ads so of course now Google ads we haven't found them to be as scalable because you are limited to having your ads shown mainly when people are searching for you or your product so that's the one thing when it comes to Google you are somewhat limited as far as like scalability because you have to have those searches in order to actually get great results from your, your Google ads. But at the same time, what we have noticed is, is that we're typically getting a lot more, uh, a lot better cost or a lot better return on our ad spend on Google, as you guys saw in our account. Like if we, if we go back, again, we spent 1600, brought in 17 grand. On Facebook, we spent, um, actually, if you just take that into consideration, if we spent uh, we spent sixteen hundred and brought in like seventeen grand, that's like a sixteen x ROI. So sixteen x return on ad spend on Facebook. We spent thirteen grand, made back fifty. And so, I we always get a much better return on Google because with Google, we're converting and we're getting people to buy from us. People that have already um, are already ready to buy. That we're just looking to do a little bit more information, and they're typically a lot warmer of traffic. They're not brand new people that are seeing us for the very first time on Facebook. From Facebook, the reason why the typically the return on ad spend isn't as high is because you're typically going after a lot newer people, um, and you know paying to show up on their timelines. But that's typically the very first time that they see you. When somebody is Googling you or looking you up on Google, they've already seen your ads. Like if they can rem if they can remember your name or the name of the product, they've already seen it somewhere. And so typically if your ads are there and they're showing up, you're gonna be able to get them to convert. So 
Um, it's, it's, uh, we haven't seen Google to be as scalable, but we are able to, we have been able to scale with also scaling our Facebook ads. So typically when we start spending a lot more money on Facebook ads, we start also uh, spending a lot more money on Google ads. And we, every single time that we do, we get a much better return on both. Um, but we haven't, one of the things is that we have seen that it, it isn't as easy to scale on Google if you don't have, um, if there aren't, again, like active searches on Google for the specific product or your brand. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, I wanted to also talk about the, like the technicality of Facebook ads and Google ads. So Google ads, I think Google ads personally is a little bit more user friendly for e-commerce because there's a lot of plugins available for a lot of the technical things you have to do. Like for example, with Google, um, you have to set up a Google Ads account, um, typically a Google Merchant account, Google Analytics, and then you connect these accounts. And then to run Google Shopping ads, um, you need to have what's called a Google Shopping feed. And the easiest way to think of a Google Shopping feed is if you know if you have, if you go to a library uh, and you go to the library and you're looking for a book, uh, typically all books they're categorized under uh, titles, and the titles typically is like the first letter. Um, or the, it's, it's, it's organized by the first letter of the title. And so if you need to find a book, you would basically go to the F section in your, in that library to find like, 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 like a Frankenstein's book, right? When it comes to Google, they basically want to make sure that when you search up Nike running shoes, there's not golf clubs showing up. And so what they do is they require you to submit a Google shopping feed, which basically, uh, categorizes the product into their library. And that way, when people search for you, your product, you're able to show up. Um, so there isn't like an actual like ad that you set up for your Google Shopping ads. It's like you set up this feed with all the information, with the correct titles, the correct descriptions, uh, the Google product category, all these different things. And then Google allows you to then they take care of like setting it up and then they run like you can obviously launch a campaign and then your ads show up. Um, so I think like, for example, for Google Shopping ads, like it's, it's super simple to set them up, though, because there are like different plugins you can use. Um, and there's like there's one specifically for Shopify. It's called like Google Shopping. It has the Google logo on it, and it makes a process a breeze because it takes all your products from your Shopify store, it imports it into your um, your Google Merchant Center, and then after the products get approved, you're able to start running ads. And uh, the best part about Google is they have like the best customer support. So if you ever have any issues with that, you can just call them up. Uh, Facebook now, on the other hand, is a little bit different. So with Facebook ads, they're a little bit more complex since you need to have an understanding of what goes into uh, ad creatives that sell. So you need to know about, you know, like what makes a good video, what makes a high quality picture. You need to know about ad copy. You need to know about headlines. So um, with Facebook ads, I would say it is, it is a little bit more complex. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, you know, I, I think that everybody, anyone that's planning on running an, an online business or any kind of business should know about Facebook ads or have someone that know, that does because Facebook ads are crucial to almost any business. And so uh, those are just one thing, to, one thing to kind of keep in mind. There are, again, like also more technicals when it comes to like, you know, targeting and all these things with Facebook, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just when it, comparing the two, Google ads, like for example, when it comes to like Google search, that's a little bit more complex because you do have to know about like ad copy and things like that. But, um, you know, you really only need to know about ad copy. It's not like images or anything like that or videos, which are a lot more difficult. But um, that's just something to keep in mind. I'd recommend for you guys, if you're planning on actually running a, a real online e-commerce business, you would focus on learning both if possible. Um, because they can definitely help blow up your business. So um, budget needed, I would say roughly they're, you know, Google ads and Facebook ads is about the same. Like initially when you launch, you know, you, you know, you can test and work with a budget of like 500 to $1,000. I haven't seen much of a difference between the two. Um, they both seem to, you know, you seem, you seem to be able to have, you seem to need around the same amount of budget for both. I think realistically you can work with a little bit less for Google. Um, but you can spend a little bit less, but it it, it typically depends. Um, like sometimes, well, it depends what kind of campaigns. Like for example, if you're going to run just like uh, simple search campaigns, you can definitely do a little bit less. But for shopping ads, you need to spend a little bit more because obviously they, they just convert a lot better and you can get in front of more people. Um, but overall, like typically same kind of budget needed when you initially launch. So that's just one thing that kind of, uh, keep in mind. Um, now, uh, some of you guys may be asking like, when should you use Facebook ads and Google ads? So I think that initially, like it, it typically depends, I would say, right? Because for example, 
if you find like let's say you're doing product research and you find a product that right now is getting like a lot of active searches on Google like maybe like 10,000 plus or like 100,000 searches a month or something like that that's a product that's already getting the searches because other people are advertising them on Facebook and other platforms and so you can come in and start and get started with Google Ads and capitalize on that search traffic that's already uh you know on, on Google and so um it, it, that's why it typically depends um now if you find a product that let's say isn't getting as many searches on Facebook or isn't getting as many searches on Google um it's getting a little bit less searches but then you find like a really good ad creative that you can use on Facebook I would recommend in that case you start with Facebook right so it typically depends on which one I think one of the things that I've seen is like at the same time like when it comes to creatives on Facebook we get better results out of making our own ad creatives rather than just going around and like using other people's videos but uh, if you can find a good creative that or if you can make a good creative you know by ordering the product getting your own little videos making that stuff or making those um, creative assets then I think you can get great results but uh, I think regardless uh, that's only for the initial like deciding on which one to kind of initially start with I think after you already have your your you know whether you you start off with Google Ads or you start off with Facebook Ads you should always use them hand in hand we across all the brands that we work with we always use Facebook Google email marketing we use all advertising channels but I think that you should definitely start with one first then add in the other because they do complement each other and you're going to get incredible results by utilizing both of them hand in hand so um yeah that's 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 pretty much it i wanted to make sure i kind of clarified on all of those things i you know i hope all that makes sense um i hope you guys you guys enjoyed this youtube video um and uh what i actually did is me and my business partner put together a free case study training um, completely for free for you guys and you guys can actually check below this video There's gonna be a link where you guys can check out the case study It's basically gonna go over how we were able to start our brand new micro brand You know utilizing Facebook and Google Ads to really go from zero to over, you know, 200 grand in 37 days roughly so uh, make sure you guys check that out Also, if you guys want to see a lot more content in regards to Facebook ads Google Ads or just e-commerce in general um, let me know down in the comments below if you guys got any value from this video and you learned anything I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like and uh, if you haven't already make sure you join the family hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video peace